Hi, I'm Johnny. I'm a global artist ambassador for Phoenix 360, and I'm blessed to be joined today by the musical artist King Solomon. Hey, King, how are you, man? Hey, John, how's everything going? Thanks for having me on the show. I'm feeling great, man. What's going on with you? Oh, man, you're looking great, too, brother. It's great um, <laughs> to have you on Phoenix 360. And listen, I wanted to give everybody a chance to get a sample of some of the music that you have on your YouTube channel, King. So if that's cool with you, I'm going to have us tune in to I Need That. Sound good? Oh, that's the jam right there. Of course, <laughs> man. Yeah, let them hear it. Let the people hear it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, everybody. Let's tune in to King Solomon and I Need That. NYC. Always be legendary, rock and fly gear. Always oh, necessary. Spent a lot of years taking down my adversary. Switch it up, make some music. Now I got a military. I don't need no secretary. Pulling up the bed and jerry's. I don't need your commentary. You are a style Blackberry. Have a sex since January. Wild like the thornberry. Promise this ain't ordinary. Got the dough like Pillsbury. Stop that, watch that, cop that. I need that, I want that. You see that? I got that. You see me? I've been P. I stay geek. I'm a jet ski. You don't know me. You don't know me. You don't know me. I stay up like Kobe. Stop that. Watch that. Cut that. I need that. I want that. You see that? I got that. You see. King, that was royal, brother. Appreciate it, man. So listen, can you tell me what was the inspiration behind the track? And no, of course, I'd love, love to hear about where you're from and your journey of you know as an artist. Yeah. So I mean, you know, the the inspiration behind that. There was a lot going on. I, I would say that it was just like my determination and motivation. Like, I need that, man. Like when I made that song, I was like, you know, I, I need that music in my life. I, I need all of these like positive people to come to me. I, I you know, it's about like whatever I need, you know, and like I'm just talking about what's naturally happening. I made that song in the first year I started rapping. So like, I was kind of just telling the whole world, if you're listening to me, like this is exactly what I need to happen right now. And uh, you know, down the road, two years post after that video, like, you know, we have what we need. So now, now we're moving on to new things, you know? And oh, um, yeah, so I'm originally from Brooklyn, New York. Uh -huh. I started freestyling maybe when I was like 13, 14, like really young. Um, I never did it publicly. I moved out here to Miami about seven years ago. And then I started to, you know, take my craft a little bit more seriously. And, um, you know, I started practicing. I started going to local uh, events and stuff, really gaining confidence. And three years ago, I released, uh, you know, my debut single, Wish Me Well. And, uh, you know, where I'm from, Brooklyn, New York, it's all about that rap culture, man. I mean, there, there's so many people out there that like, you know, Jay-Z, Biggie, just to give you a couple that, oh, you know. A couple more, it, man. I hear you, man. Yeah. <laughs> so I, ask I you, mean, like, well, who inspired you, you know? So, yeah. Yeah, Jay of course. No, nah, I mean, um, I would say, you know, Big, big L, Nas, um, I already said Jay-Z, Biggie, 50 Cent was a big one. I mean, that was, that was like, you know, I think I, Get Rich or Die Trying, once I heard that album, I was like, oh, this is it, man. <laughs> yeah, it was perfect. It was perfect. That's really cool. Now, listen, if we were to tune in your social media channels that we're going to have below the interview here, what would we expect might be coming up soon? Wow. So this is a great time to actually tune in because I have a brand new video coming out in the beginning of January, the first week, I actually just put the finishing touches on the video and it's called everything 2020. The, the audio track is actually out now on all streaming platforms, uh, Spotify, Apple music and everything. There's no video yet, but it's dropping in January. And this track actually has made it on a couple of uh, Spotify editorial playlists. It's really catchy. And it's just about the year that we went through you know 2020 with covid with life being upside down all the experiences what people were going through all the emotions i tried to capture it all in one track and um i really think that to date it's one of my greatest pieces of work i was able to get my uh longtime friend sal arena to play trumpet on the track and uh he absolutely oh, yeah. killed it man yeah we we made like a jazz banger it was like a jazz rap banger something that no one even does and like I was blessed to have that, but um, yeah, man, you 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 should check that out on oh, any streaming sure. platform. You know, it's um, you know, my Instagram, 
Uh, it's my name, King Solomon, K-I-N-G-S-O-L-O-M-A-N underscore. And I have so much content on that song. I mean, I have clips of Sal playing the trumpet and everything. So if you want to go check hey. that out, I recommend. And Miami Beach, that's my latest one. But, um, you know, uh, we could talk about that a little bit later. You know, everything <laughs> 2020 is, is my real focus right now with that video coming out. And um, to just sum up a little bit more of what I have going on, actually, um, this year, I plan on releasing an album called Getting Paper. You're uh, the first person I'm actually telling this to. Oh, but nice. uh, yeah, we're, Thank you. We're, cool. we're, we're dropping an album, man. It's going to be legit. I love it, bro. That's cool, man. All right. Yeah. So look for it coming up. We're excited. Great to feel your energy, man. I'm so glad that this is all working out so powerfully for you, bro. You're making a huge impact, um, you know, on, you. on the Eastern seaboard there. And, uh, and I just really appreciate it. <laughs> so everybody tune into King Solomon. You can see the social media channels below our interview and we'll look for him coming up on Phoenix 360. King, thanks for being with me, man. I appreciate you. No, of course. Thanks for having me, John. And everybody, I appreciate you. Make sure you check out the music. Go to my Instagram. Go to all the channels. Get everything you need. Check out my music videos and stay stay tuned. I'm telling you, man, this coming year, we have a lot of music being released, a lot of music videos happening, and this is the time to make it happen. So uh, thanks again for having me, John. I really appreciate the time and uh, everyone who's checking me out. Thank you. You bet. Love the cameos, and I love actually this time we oh, spent yeah, this, together. King. This, it's my wife Rena sneaking in <laughs> over oh, here. Darling. You know, Listen, both uh, of you unscripted, have a but you know that's how it is. Yeah, of course. Have a happy holiday, man, and uh, and thanks, King. I really appreciate you. Let's everybody tune into his channels. We'll see him on Phoenix 360, and you take good care. All right, you too, John. Take care. Right. Happy holidays. Peace. <laughs> Children, and I'm out here chilling. Coming at your head, sorry, gotta play the villain. You ask for the millions, but got no brain for the building. Talk about women, meanwhile, you got children. Trying to be hard, but we know who you are. This may sound bizarre, need a witness where you're on. Got my boy Vassar, loyalty like the mob. This should go hard, then even get to the best part. Wish me well, wish me well, wish me well When you had this clientele, you know that you'd be living well